Welcome. To this session, we're going to discuss on how to customize KTAP library. Since there are a lot of components inside the ATAP library, it's too huge when you're going to tackle all the electrical components inside the library. Today, we're going to focus only on power cables, okay? There are a lot of options to how to get the data from uh, uh, the cable. It's either will go to the manufacturing manufacturer of the cables or we can go to different standards such as uh, in easy standards such as British standards such as PEC. So to this discussion, we're going to select uh, to take the data from data of the cable from the British standard. Okay, as what have you what you have seen from the screen, we have here the already prepared single line diagram for a certain project. By the way, any single line diagram will do on when we are going to update the ATAP library. Okay, let's start. Let's go to uh, library, click this library, then cable. So the first step you're going to do is to click this add button here. Okay. And then as we have mentioned earlier, we're going to use the British standard. So let's change the source name to be BS5467, okay? I'll put new here so that I would understand that this is a newly added from the ATAP library. So it's not part from the original information of the from the ATAP library, okay? So the unit system is metric. Okay, I will change the frequency from 60 to 50. Okay, and the installation here, we have three choices. We have magnetic, non-magnetic, and overhead. So for this discussion, we choose magnetic. Okay, and for the conductor type, we have copper here. We have two choices here, copper and aluminum. But our we're going to select copper. And for the cable, we have one core up to 10 core here. So for this type of cable, we're going to use three core. And for the insulation type, we're going to use XLPE from here, okay? XLPE. One KV, the, is, the voltage is rated one KV, okay? And the class is 100. Oh, that will be fine. Okay. And the length of the cable is 1,000 meter. Okay. And then the resistance, the base temperature would be 90. Okay. Okay. So we have here the ampacity of the cable in underground and above ground. Okay. Here we have here TATC and rho. Ah, okay, so T means this is the ambient temperature in degrees Celsius obtained from the current carrying capability tables of the corresponding standard for the base capacity or opacity of the cable. The ambient temperature is the temperature at a cable installation location when the cable installation is absent. Okay, while TC... This is the conductor temperature in degrees obtained from the current carrying tables based on the corresponding standard for the base capacity. This order is usually given at 90 degrees Celsius. Okay, while for the row, this is the thermal resistivity of the soil in degrees Celsius, centimeter per watt. 
obtained from the tables of corresponding standard for the base capacity, this field will be hidden if the installation type is not underground buried or above ground duct. So that's why here, the, uh, from the above ground opacity, this, raw, this thermal resistivity of the soil is not given. Okay, so I think we have filled up everything from here. Okay, so we'll just click OK. Okay, so we have here, we have here this information already, right? We have the unit matrix, the frequency is 50 hertz, the type copper rated 1 kV, the class is 100. 3 core XLPE and we have here the source is as per British standard 5467 and type of installation is magnetic okay so from here have you seen from here there's no size yet for this discussion we're going to select 200 we're going to propose 240 mm square of cable so for that, we're going to encode the properties from here, here. So let's click this edit properties from here. So this is empty. So we're going to provide now the information. Okay. So we have here four sections. We have here opacity. We have here impedance, physical characteristic of the cable, and the cable polling parameters. Okay. So here, for the opacity, since we're providing... So we're proposing 240 mm square cable. Let's type here 240. Okay. And the size as well, just put 240 also. Okay. And then, for the PE and neutral, since we don't have this is three core, it's not PE and neutral, is not included. So we'll just leave like this only. For the duct bank, we're going to provide the um, the ampere rating will be 442 amperes for the buried here will be 529 okay 529 for the free air will be 584 amperes the same as the conduit in air also 500 84 amperes okay so we have done on the opacity section let's go to the impedance of the cable okay so we have here already provided the information to 240 m square okay then we'll just fill the information on the resistance at 90 degrees the resistance at the 90 degrees will be 0. 0 0.097 the reactance at 50 hertz will be 0 0.072 while for the inductance is 0 0.0023 okay and the admittance will be 0 0.000156 and for the resistance at zero sequence will be 0 0.3555, 0 0.3555, and the reactance at 50 hertz at zero sequence will be 0 0.17712. And the inductance at 50 hertz, it's 0, 0, 0, 0056. Okay. Admittance, let's just leave this one. Okay. Empty. And the resistance for DC will be 76.881. And since we don't have the PE here, just leave this one. The resistance and the reactance to be empty okay so after here this section is done so let's 
go to physical characteristic of the cable. Okay? So, we have here the conductor outside diameter. The value will be 1.729. The insulation thickness, th thickness will be 1.7. Okay? 1.7. And it's asking here, shielded will shield the screen? Will just it's no, okay. And also from the the shift is none. Also for the armor, it's a still armor, okay. It's still a kill still armor, okay. And the diameter will be 2.5. Okay. 2.5. And the jacket, since this cable is an XLPE PVC, the jacket will be PVC. Okay. So this is PVC from here. The thickness will be 2.6. Two point six, and the cable outside diameter will be five point forty-eight. Okay, so conductor construction. This is okay. We'll just select the conductor to be wrong. Okay, okay. So now this is okay. So we'll go to the last part section of the cable library will go to the cable pulling from here so the weight in cable in 1000 meters this is around 7100 kg okay 7100 so maximum tension is 7.2 okay and the pressure is 670 okay so here 670 so we have done everything we have done providing the information on the opacity impedance physical and the cable pulling so from that let's close this uh, window from here by clicking this okay Do you want to update the changes? Yes. Okay. So, now, we're going to verify if this information are already in the ATAP library. Okay? So, just close this window. Okay? And open this one. Now, that particular cable will going to use that particular cable from this part from the cable one so let's double click this cable okay so we have here now we'll go to library okay so we're you going to filter let's go to the source okay Let's deselect this and we're going to this is this is the one we have prepared earlier. Okay, so see we have only entered the value of 240 mm square cable. Just click OK and we can check the information right now. Okay, so from here from the physical okay earlier if you remember this is the for the cable pulling this is what we have entered the 7100 kilogram per kilometer the maximum tension 7.2 kilogram per mm square the max the maximum side wall we have here 670 kilogram per meter so it's everything already uh here okay so for the impedance, okay, 
So we have here already, okay? So the units that was ohms per 1000, what we have here in the impedance library that is one that is per the ohms per 1000 meter. Okay. So from here, this is what we have provided, the resistance, the positive and zero sequence resistance, the the reactance, the inductance, the impedance and ATAP automatically provided the in information of the XR values and the RX values of the cable. Okay. So from here, let's click this one. Okay. Sorry, it's little take a little bit time. Okay. So now we have successfully added a new cable information based on British standard on our ATAP library.